Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update. As some of you may already know, I am uh, just starting out. I'm like three, four days into uh, starting some experiments with uh, trying to propagate and grow some aquatic plants, um, mainly sticking with the easy ones, the rhizome type plants to begin with, java fern, different types of anubias, uh, some different mosses. Um, but I plan on getting about 20 or 25 of these uh, different experiments going all at once, different lighting, um, different styles. Uh, but so far this is what I have. So this is a java moss mat that I will be attempting to grow. Um, so I have about an inch and a half of gravel and about an inch and a half of water. Um, I have it hooked up to my air pump and I have a couple air stones under there, as you can see. And I'm hoping in about two, three months, I'll have a nice thick java mat or I may end up with nothing, not sure. <laughs> and this one back here is java moss planted a few days ago. Again, I'm trying to grow a mat. This one has no air going into it. It has just a tiny amount of water on the bottom of the container and I missed it daily. This one here is similar to the first one, gravel, a little bit of water. I have a small pump that I bought at Harbor Freight for $8 that hooked up a tube. Basically it takes the water from one side of the tank to the other and it creates a little bit of flow. You can see the ripples of the water flowing this way. My thought process here was you know, to throw some Anubias in there and maybe mimic um, a stream, you know, a slow running stream um, as a lot of Anubias grow in that environment. Um, I have my thermometer and my humidity gauge in there. It's hard to see, but it looks like I'm at 91% relative humidity and 69 degrees. That's exactly where I want everything to stay. And finally, this guy here is hooked up to my air pump, a couple air stones in there, blowing some oxygen in, I guess. <laughs> and I have a few uh, java fern in there. Um, I plan on filling this up with about 20, 25 java fern. And uh, they actually, uh, I've only been in here a few days, but they are starting to look um, nice and bright green. I mean, they look good so far. Um, Again, it's about 90% humidity in there. I've been misting them a couple times a day, but I honestly think I could get away with misting them every couple days. And I have about maybe two inches of gravel there, two inches of water. I think I could go a little bit lower with the gravel and the water. Um, it's because the java fern will click, quickly grow up to the top lid. This uh, container is only about seven inches tall. The mats that I'm using for the java moss, you can purchase at Walmart. A three pack of the 12 by 18 sheets cost about three or four dollars. My goal was to not have a ton of money into this, so each container cost about six dollars and fifty cents at Walmart. Again, my pump is an eight dollar pump. The tubing is about twelve dollars for 20 feet. I used about three feet there and the rock that I'm using you can buy at Lowe's 50 pounds for six bucks um, you just need to wash it really good the rock is extremely dirty even though it looks clean in the bag it has a lot of sticks and leaves and dirt um, you have to rinse it really good who knows what's in there it may be a good idea to sterilize it too before you use it I didn't but who knows you could be introducing some uh, fungus or whatnot that could kill your plants and I have an air pump that you could buy off Amazon for about 25 bucks it's a pretty powerful pump uh, I have it hooked up so far to two of my little greenhouses here I believe I could probably run I could piggyback and run maybe eight to ten of those off that one pump who knows maybe even more um, it has a lot of power I have it turned down right now um, other than that, um, just a few um, tees for the airline, the air stones. I mean, these are the two packs are like less than two dollars each. So I stocked up on those and the small uh, quarter inch tube in is really cheap. It's like two or three bucks.
bucks. You get it at Walmart, Petco, any pet store. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I will update as I get further along. Um, the plan is to fill up that rack down there. So two, four, six, eight containers down there. And then, excuse my mess, um, but I have another eight foot section there and another eight foot section there and then an eight foot section there. So that is, if I just use the bottom rack, uh, I could fit about 32 of these on there. And then if I decide to use the top racks and double that, so 64, and I could probably fit about eight more on these two racks. So, I mean, I could probably get about 70 of these little containers going if I really wanted to, but I figured I'll stop at 20 or 25. I'm gonna mess around with the lighting and I'm gonna mess around with different styles of immersed growth. And after a few months, I'll figure out what works best. I'll even do some in soil and whatever works best to get some growing quickest and healthiest, then I will upscale that. And I plan on turning each one of these four foot by eight foot sections into uh, basically a, a greenhouse section. I'll build that up, we'll probably put a two by four border around that, put a pond liner in, plastic sheeting on all the walls, the top, and then I'll have an access to where I can get in. And I will basically have a four foot deep by eight foot wide greenhouse with its own ecosystem. And hopefully uh, get some good healthy plants going and uh, maybe try to make a few bucks off them. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I will update as I get further along. Um, probably won't update for a few weeks. I have to go out of town for a little bit, but this is a good start. Let me know which one you like best so far. Um, again, just to recap, this, the thought process was to mimic a slow moving stream. The water moves from this side into the pump cycles over keeps going and then this style is gravel water up to just the top of the gravel and then air pump hooked up two air stones inside um, same thing over here with the java moss mat and then this is just basic um, place it and leave it there's not much going on in there just keep it moist um, spritz it every day or two uh, let me know what let me know your thoughts guys also i'd be interested to know how i could propagate this java moss um, it's been growing nicely in these five gallon buckets but what do you think guys should i split it up into four and start some more buckets let me know your thoughts also let me know your thoughts on lighting uh, this is a pretty intense light i keep it on four hours a day uh, let me know if you think it's too much light for the Anubia's Java Moss or the Java Fern. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.